About three years ago, I discovered a new and super exciting coding education platform. Founded by a well-loved Udemy instructor, Zero to Mastery's interface was clean, the courses were high quality, and the Discord community was ginormous. But three years is kind of a long time, and a lot can change. So is Zero to Mastery still legit? You'll find out what I really think coming up. Hey, Archie C here. Listen, don't forget to get on our official mailing list. We have the free stuff, like free stuff. We have a free ebook for you. We have so many coding tips, real world insights, and so much more. Link popping up. It's also in the description box of this video. My, my, what a difference a year makes. Last year, when I did my review video on zero to mastery.io, there were 24 courses. Now there are 46. And I think of all the metrics we could discuss today, that one in particular really illustrates just how fast this platform is expanding and pushing things forward. A lot more people are checking this platform out. A lot more people are talking about this platform. It's getting a lot of buzz. Myself, I've been with this platform since it started. I knew they were gonna go to big places. When they started, they of course didn't have 46 courses. The courses they did have were absolutely a cut above the other courses I was seeing out there. You may recognize this guy's face. This is the founder of ZTM, Andre Negoy. He's also the lead instructor for many of these courses. Now, because there are so many courses on here, he has employed other instructors as well, such as Ihua. He is an instructor for the React course. He does one of the Fang courses on here. We'll explore a lot of those courses coming up in just a moment. So let me jump into my student area and I'll show you the layout and kind of the user interface with these courses and with some of the other features because they're, man, they are just expanding at breakneck speed. If you're totally new, you don't know where to start, they, they literally give you step-by-step -step instructions. Step one, join the online classroom. Step two, choose your career path. Step three, check your ZTM passport, which I'm signed into the passport. This is totally new. It's actually in beta right now, but I'm signed in and this is more of a gamified environment where they give you badges and achievements so you can stay motivated. There is also the ZTM campus. This is for live events and this is what that looks like. I haven't signed in completely, but for live events, this is where you would go to participate. I'm kind of jumping around here, but going back to step two, choose your career path. This is if you know you wanna do tech, but you're not sure what kind of tech. So they give you a quiz and they, pretty much break down the different career paths and options available to you. For example, become a front-end developer. There are seven courses included in that career path, and then you're free to explore that path further once you click on it. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up and you will see the entire path pretty much laid down again, step by step. There's no guessing, oh, what, what do I do next? Because it literally says step two, step three, step four, then do this, then do that. So as you can see, there are plenty of career paths here. UI, UX, DevOps, React, mobile developer, a really diverse selection. Now, maybe the career path thing does not sound appealing to you. That's totally okay because the courses are available a la carte. And as you scroll down, you can see here, these are all the courses individually. Maybe you just wanna do one course on PyTorch for deep learning. Bada boom, there it is. Now, even before we pop into one of these courses so you guys can see the layout, you will notice in these titles, one very critical piece of data. There's a number here that I'm really loving. 2023, 2023, 2023. 2023. All of these tech concepts that get outdated relatively quickly, they're updated in these courses. So you're not learning jQuery. Rest in peace, jQuery. I love you, but it is not a critical component to learn in 2023. These courses are painstakingly updated for the current year. When things change, these instructors are on their changes. How do I know this? Because that's one of the things I noticed about the ZTM platform when they first started even. They do updates on the regular, and that is something I have not seen any other platform do. That is a huge differentiator comparing ZTM to any other platform. 
So let's hop in here. Where do you guys want to go? There are so many courses. One of the most popular ones is the Complete Web Developer in 2023, Zero to Mastery. This is a huge course, and I'm actually due for an updated review on this course, so keep an eye out for that. It's a boot camp style course. So theoretically, by the end of the course, you're going to know the basics about web development to build some simple apps. They talk about all your basics here, HTML, CSS, advanced CSS, bootstrap templates, and building a landing page, the CSS grid. That's a really cool addition. JavaScript, of course, a huge section there. Let's pop in. Now I have not mentioned this yet, but this is a video based platform. There are no interactive code editors. You will need to set your editor up on your own and any other you know, note taking stuff, any type of accessory in addition to these videos, you will need to provide. Another thing about this platform too is the consistently high production values. No one's in their mom's basement in the broom closet with a clip on mic and like a CRT monitor. These are high quality, great production values, well edited on a platform. Like I hate to bash it, but you to me, you will see these courses that are 60 and 70 hours. And it's just like, dude, have you ever heard of an edit button? Edit your material. These courses. Now, some of them are 30 and 40 hours on this platform, but they're still well edited. So in my opinion, from my experience, it never felt like something went on and on and on and on. And the videos are broken up with text based exercises. For example, in this module advanced JavaScript, there's an exercise on scope. And if you get stuck, this is something I also did not mention earlier on, but they have a extremely large discord ginormous, I think is the scientific term for it. This is the big whopper centerpiece course of this platform, the complete web developer in 2023. But if you go to the other courses, even outside the scope of web development, a blockchain, FANG interview prep, cybersecurity, the layout is pretty much the same. They even have a course on Rust. In most of these courses, you're also going to do some projects. For example, in this Rust course, you will be building a billing application. And then if we go way down here, there's another project, Clipstash. But remember, this platform is exploding in popularity and you have to think outside of the box. So if 100,000 people are building the projects from this course and then they're submitting those projects in a portfolio to employers, you don't want to be applicant 100,001 with that same project. So too long didn't listen to what I just said. If you're gonna be doing some of these projects and putting them in your portfolio, give them some twists. Complete React Developer in 2023 with Redux Hooks and GraphQL is also one of these really popular courses. There's also a pretty cool bonus section in here, building a Gatsby JS blog. But before you get to that, there's actually a huge capstone project in this React course. This is another course I'm gonna be reviewing a la carte because it is so expansive, but you're gonna be building an e-commerce store called Crown Clothing. Let's talk about pricing. When I did this video last year, the price for a monthly subscription was $39. Fast forward to right now and the price is still the same despite adding all those courses I pointed out at the beginning of this video. Monthly is $39, annual is $279 which factors out to about $23 a month and the lifetime forever, forever, ever, forever, ever is $9.99. Like I said at the beginning of this review, I've been with ZTM since they freaking started their own platform because I knew they're gonna do great things. I didn't know exactly what they were gonna do. So I was excited to just sit back and see. I'm loving what I'm seeing. I know they've helped thousands of people land jobs in this industry, and I think they're going to continue to do that possibly in an exponential way. For 2023, I'm gonna say it, I think this is the best platform to learn how to code or continue your tech skills to take them to the next level. The step-by-step -step instructions for newbies is a win. The constant updates are a definite differentiator. The production values are very tight. And honestly, for all those courses for $39 a month or even $23 a month, if you do the annual, there's, I don't see how this is not a steal of a deal. This is insane for the material you're getting. All in all, I give ZTM a stamp of approval. Highly recommend checking this platform out. I'm still waiting for a PHP course though. Don't think I forgot. I'm waiting. I'm going to be scrolling here for the next couple of years. I'm going to have all gray hair and a cane saying, Andre, where's that PHP course? A girl can dream. Thanks for watching developers. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.